There are many different ways to manage Docker containers, and today I want to introduce a front end called HomeDoc OS. HomeDoc OS is a web UI which runs on top of Debian Linux. Unlike Dockage, Komodo, or Portainer, which are all containers which manage other containers, HomeDoc OS is more like a lightweight operating system in itself. HomeDoc OS needs to run on its own LXC. It cannot be deployed as a Docker container within TrueNAS. You can deploy it as an LXC on TrueNAS or another platform like Proxmox if you want. Today, I will demonstrate how to get HomeDoc OS running in a lightweight Proxmox Ubuntu LXC. Here on my Proxmox dashboard, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new container. I'm gonna click the Create Container button in the top right. I'm gonna give it a host name of HomeDoc OS and add a password. I'm gonna click Next on the bottom right and give it my Ubuntu 24.04 standard template. Click Next on the bottom right. I'm going to increase the disk size to 30 gigabytes and click Next. I'm going to give it four CPU cores and click next and increase the memory to 10,000 megabytes with a 2,000 megabyte swap space. Click next. I'm going to set the IPv4 as DHCP and leave the IP6 the way it is and click next. Click next again and click start after created and hit finish. I see here by task OK, it means my container is up and running. I can close this window now and 107 home doc OS is up and running. Clicking into the console, I'm going to log in using the login credentials of root and then the password I set when I created the container. Next, I wanna make sure this container is up to date. So I have to run this command, app update and app upgrade dash Y, and then hit enter. Now that my container is up to date, I wanna install one more thing and that is the curl command. Jumping back to the home doc page, I can click the get started free and notice that they do have the options here to host this for you, but we're gonna host it ourselves. So we're gonna click download install. Down here, I wanna check the documentation and I wanna click the get started button. Under setup installation on the left side, I wanna to jump to the indices on the right side to the Debian 12 and Ubuntu 2202 install and grab this command. I'm gonna include this in the video description just so you don't have to repeat these steps. I'm gonna click copy. Then I'm gonna go back to Proxmox, hold down shift and hit insert, and then hit enter to run this command. Now I'm greeted with the HomeDoc OS installer. I do wanna proceed, so I'm gonna hit Y for yes. My install is now finished, and when it's done, it'll tell you the IP that you need to log into. In this case, the IP of the LXC that I've booted up was at 220. When I log on, I'm greeted with the click to start icon. When I click this, I get this from HomeDoc OS, asked to sign in with my username and password. I've not created the username and password yet, but you will find this in the documentation. The default login credentials listed here as user pass WD. Now I'm logged into HomeDoc. First, I see on the top right, two new notifications. One is that I'm using the default user and that I should change that. And I also am using the default password, which is also something I need to change. In the center pane, I can see my system stats. The first thing I wanna do is make this a little bit darker. So let's go over to settings. Let's go to theme settings and change it to noir. Now I can refresh this page and I'm in dark mode. Let's go back to my dashboard now and install some Docker applications. We can do that in two ways. In the center here, I can click this little icon for the app store or on the left, I can hit integrations and app store here. There are a number of pre-built applications already set up for HomeDoc OS. Unfortunately, you're limited only to the apps in the App Store as there is no way to launch custom Docker Compose files from here. Vault Warden comes up very high up on this page. If I click Install here, it'll tell me exactly what port it's running on, the volumes that it's gonna save the data in, and the restart policy. I can go with these options or I can customize that from here. I can also hit the switch in the bottom left to see the actual Docker Compose file and make changes directly to the Docker Compose or paste my own Docker Compose for Vault Warden. Click the Install button. We can see it's installing here and I can close this window off installing because it's gonna continue to install in the background. Now it's listed as installed. I can go back to my dashboard and I'll see my app right here. I have some actions here to start, stop, and restart the container, uninstall it, or update if I want. By clicking the app icon here in the center of the dashboard, I'm taken directly to the Vault Warden page running on my server's IP. To uninstall this app, all I have to do is select it, come to my actions, and hit uninstall. One more time to confirm, and one more time to be extra sure that I want to remove this app. This has been a review of HomeDoc OS. It's a very simple one-click install for certain apps that exist in their app store. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to have a technical conversation about this, please jump on our Discord server.